this is a video on this is a video on scratch 1.4 beta and so it's released on mid may 2009 and this is the version to have the hosting mesh and the joining mesh feature for the first time so let's open it with a further to do and let's just maximize it so you can see that you can notice that the beta sign from the 1.2 has been added again for the scratch 1.4 beta that's scratch 1.2 beta and this one is scratch 1.4 beta and also there's an important menu change over here that's the only major thing I can see visibly easily and you can see if, let's look from the top to bottom as usual now at technique here's the language button I need a special file if I need to view all the languages but I don't have them and you can also save the projects and upload it from here you can see that the buttons has been really re uh, it has been replaced with the menu menu means like menu kind of things with drop downs and one important thing you can notice is that the drop downs each of the drop downs have their own square shaped thing of their first means their first thing in the drop down list has the square to indicate that this is the first thing and you cannot shift click R for some other developer features and you can see that file has the basic things like new open save save as you can import export projects and do some stuffs here but you can also shift click this and write project summaries and write multiple project summaries you can also edit it but you cannot shift click edit for additional features you can show motor blocks but I'm not going to do it for now or maybe I'll just click it and I'll explain it later maybe a little bit and this is also introduced for the first time here maybe it was then the code already but I don't know it now only is back and you cannot share this project online of course and go to the scratch website and you cannot shift click the share to get the host mesh and join mesh features which are quite a very cool feature because it helps to connect a local area network which means anybody who's using the same network or the same Wi-Fi connection can be connected to the mesh thing or you can just connect it with the two win two, two separate windows so that I can demonstrate it over here and you can see let's see in the about scratch thing we can see some particular information from scratch that's okay and there are also help pages but it will not work on my computer because I don't have the HTML files and all only the image file is there also some website redirects are there which may be broken now and so let's just check it out check out the the right side more you can see that there's a dupe these buttons this tool like stamp I mean like duplicate delete increase the size and decrease the size has been made smaller the buttons has been made smaller and bought into the menu bar you can see it's in the menu bar and also the full screen button and the no normal normal button sw switch to full stage which is called as full stage and uh, the normal canvas and the small stage has been moved into here small days small stage has been introduced in this version only and that's also full screen I don't know if you can see it properly and so let's just check out the flag buttons as well the flags buttons flag button and the stop stop script button I mean stop everything button has been made into sm made more smaller than before and also the icon has been changed I think so and also it has been moved into the canvas rather than the menu bar which was, which was where it was before and also let's just check out the sprite sprite uh, sprite palette or something I don't know what is the name I forgot this one and here you can see that this interface has been changed slightly over here like X and Y has been displaced rather than mouse X and mouse Y and also some icon changes and some other minor changes has been happened over here and of course you can right click for some things like duplicating I don't know if it was there or not and so we have looked into the sprite palette and the menu bar so let's just look now into the block palette which is how we do things usually and so you can see that the motion blocks has no change except for the motor blocks which is added using an intention over here I mean intention indentation and there's a motor blocks over here they can add a separate category but that's not how it how they thought before because it's also related to motion but a physical motion and we can just do motor on for particular seconds or motor on motor off and motor power and direction 
and of course this drop down menu this way that way but it doesn't make any sense when they say this way that way and also reverse and yeah so let's look on the controls category and we can see there's no changes in the controls category as well and this is the same for looks category as well there's no change because most of them are implemented already but however in the sensing blocks there has been a block called ask what's your name and wait it's been added for the first time in this version as you can see this ask and wait thing has been added and of course a reporter for it also has been added called answer reporter which reports whatever is being asked like and it just records the answers over there and it just works also there's a small also there's a rearrangement of the blocks over the sensing category and this has been indented indent, uh, indentation has been made i don't know what they call this thing but something which is only then 1.4 and this is for the sound category which has no changes and numbers category has been renamed to operators because it added some string opera string operators as well along with this thing but they didn't consider this as serious thing because they're logical operators and i think this is quite related with this thing because it's quite useful for this thing as well for asking and all and to join some strings you can do with this a letter one of the world of the length of the world you can just replace world with whatever you want i think i'm explaining a bit too much but anyway we're introducing a new block just acting like that as if it's new and we're just comparing the difference that's it and the pen blocks also has no changes from the previous version let's just look at the variables and some of the things variables as well has no changes it's quite same with all those things and yeah you can right click it as normal and let's check out my list i mean making our own list you can see that there's a new thing added called my list contains a thing this is a new block which reports true or false so it's a predicate block and it can check if it's true or false whether it contains a particular item and so we have looked into the all blocks changes so let's look in the costume tab and see if there is any changes after we open the paint editor after a long time and i can see that it has been changed a lot a little bit from the 1.0 version from 1.0 to 1.3 it's same paint editor only but now only there's one change everything from here i mean like it was a little more big larger window and this many of the tools over here are was in the top of this thing means there also white white space over here where it was in but now everything has been moved towards the left side of the thing left side of the canvas which is quite useful and covers lesser space and also some features has been made smaller like this we they just made it into a sub feature like if you click this one it will come otherwise it will not come that is feature about this and hmm. overall it's quite okay and also the camera button has been added to the costumes category and of course sometimes it can have the bugs because this is a beta version but most of the time when i tried it it just worked you can see i'm just over here and i just had a bendy headphone anyway fine and so we have looked into the most of the changes in the scratch and now we are coming to the interesting part which is the mesh feature so let's just close this thing and let's just open it let's let's just do a fresh new start because it can cause some problems which i did, which i modified already so i'm opening it two times the same 1.4 beta thing this is the first 1.4 beta window and this is the second 1.4 beta window and i don't know if it's going to lag this time because when i open two scratch versions i don't know what will happen so let's just see how much it's lagging okay it's just it's just fine 29 frames but i don't know what's happening to you guys i'm just going to be trying this video because already i had many failures today of making this video and so we can see that we are open two windows over here and so let's just learn how to do mesh i think i i think so most of you people over here don't know how to do mesh which was a old feature which is quite like cloud variables but it will only work on in your home internet or your home wi-fi so first let's see it what all it can do so first if you need to enable the mesh you have to go to the share and shift click the share 
then click host mesh and yeah you got a number over here just click just shift click over here or share and just press join mesh and put the same number as what is written over here and give ok you can see that if you shift click this if you shift click this again you can see it has been joined to the same network and this also you can, you can just give ok over here to both the dialogues you can see this is how it's connected and so first let's see the way of joining the mesh using the broadcast actually broadcast can be connected easily you can see this as mesh i'll just rename i'll just name it as i'll just simply name it as mesh i'll just name it like that it's quite a long name but i'm just keeping it simply for the fun purpose and so let's go here and put and if you need this to be gotten over here you can see that it's not it's not yet there you can either create a new thing with the same name but i'm not going to be doing it rather you can just click one flag one time over here and you can see that it has been at least se sent one time which means when i click the flag it's sent one time broadcasted so you can now you can see it's it has, it's been here at least one time it has been broadcast so it came over here or you can just name it again like that means like a name this name it the same text you used and then you can just click over you can just put whatever block you want below it like you can just add whatever you want but only the broadcast is the mesh thing actually if you need to press the green flag you have to click it over here because here's where it broadcast thing and here's where it receive things you can see how you can control two windows with this actually not you can not only do with the windows but separate computers as well imagine if i can show the ip address over here and I can just on my another computer and just do the same thing like connecting to my same mesh, so mesh IP address and you can just mess around with it like creating some cloud temporary servers and all those stuffs but I don't know how to do that well but we'll try it in the next video after working some time on how to use mesh and yeah that's one way of using it but broadcasting is quite an important feature in the mesh and not only that you can also share variables by using mesh and let's just name it as what let me just paint it meshware that's how i name it and i can also set meshware to whatever i want but one important feature i have to say one important thing i should say is that you have to set it to four all sprites then when it will work and first you just set it to the 10 you can see it has been set to 10 yeah it's 10 now and if you need to access this all you need to do is not like click it once then cl then it will not be able to access it you can see no variables has been formed over here if you need to access it what you can do means like i'll just say like just say that thing so that we are just making a script simple script so that we can understand what's happening so i just made it like that if you need to access the same variable you have to go to sensing and go to this slider sensor value this block i don't know if this block is still there in 1.4 but it's there in 1.4 beta and let me click on meshware actually most of the people who are not there in 1.4 era knows this doesn't know this feature which is there in the 1.4 which is the only speciality in here which has been removed permanently and will never come back of course Many of this mod has implemented many of the scratch mods i mean scratch 1.4 mod has implemented this back and so let's just check it out and see so i'm playing it here you can see it can detect that your mesh variable is 10. if you want i can set this to 100 as well actually best practice is to put the variable before the broadcast but it will still work as live even if you set the variable to something else later You can just put a forever loop over there but it can have a possible bugs in case there are some updating variables so you're not supposed to click over here i'm supposed to click over here you can see that it's saying your mesh variable is 100 which you can read 
and here also is displaying 100 but imagine I added something like when the space is pressed let me just make this make this into a canvas because I'm not going to be changing any scripts imagine if I press space it should change the mesh variable by one so you can see there's a tiny lag over here you can see it says it's updating live so modify the variable here it will update in like one second or two second or whatever you can see this one is slightly lagging but still fine just some delays there like five seconds or something between the mesh variable detectors this is how you can your mesh variables can work it can not only do from one window to other but also different computers within the same network maybe you have to study a little more on network if you need to understand that it just means that anything any computer which is connected to your same Wi-Fi can connect to the same thing I mean same Wi-Fi means it, whether it has internet or not doesn't matter it just needs to be a tiny Wi-Fi whether it's hotspot or whatever and I hope you understand it and I think that's all about this video and I hope to see you guys in the next video and let me also remind you about how to close the how to off the mesh as well you can just click over here and just press stop hosting mesh that will not update lively if I click this over here now it will not work you can see it's not working because I stopped the mesh and we can just close the both of these things and that's all about the video and I hope to see you guys in the next video and I don't know if I'm going to make a 1.4 video maybe maybe I would make one and that's also a release candidate version so I don't know if that's much a large change enough for me to recognize